Hello, it is Monday, August 28th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Tuesday crossword. No, it's not. It's a Monday crossword today, which means it should be a fairly gentle themed crossword. And it's a debut construction as well. Um, so this debut approachable edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Aaron Spiller, Lake House Bros, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the indomitable showmaster, the incredible Horan family, and all the other patrons, I suppose. And thank you so much to the five of them and everyone else for their generous support, sustaining this channel and keeping this series going. I really do appreciate that. So thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who contributes. And if you'd like to consider doing so, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve, of course, or there's a link in the description field underneath the video as well. And there are the bonus videos and the daily solve. Let's check the crosses mug for patrons. Well, for benefactors, get the mug. Um, all right. And thank you also to all of these subscribers to the YouTube channel. Please do consider subscribing if you've been enjoying these videos. That really does help out. So thanks for the, to those of you who've done that. And finally, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which is a friendly chat community, who's, uh, which is linked in the description field as well. So consider checking that out. All right. Let's get on to today's puzzle. This is, as I said, a themed Monday crossword should, as I say, should be relatively approachable, relatively gentle. And it is the debut construction by Brian Callahan. So welcome to him. We'll see what he has in store for us today. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Military wear, for short, could be camo for camouflage, but let's look at the, uh, the crosses there. Complain, complain, complain. That could be to carp. To carp is to complain. Water in Spanish would be agua. So camo is looking pretty good. Waiter's handout. A waiter could hand you a menu. There we have it. Big name in electric toothbrushes. Oral B is a general uh, sort of dental hygiene brand. They make toothbrushes among other things. So stress or exposure to sun, it said, are agers, things that will sort of, I guess, sort of physiologically age you. Uh, evasive treatment with the, the, the runaround, you give somebody the runaround, you give them uh, some evasive treatment, you avoid them. I think that's, that's correct. And that's part of our theme. And uh, who knows what, what that adds up to just yet. Here we have Sao Paulo, Brazil. So it's just fill in the blank of the city name and down under hoppers informally. So down under used to refer to Australia. So uh, ruse, kangaroos hop around in Australia. Uh, Bay Area Air Hub would be SFO, San Francisco International Airport, which serves the San Francisco Bay Area. And, oh, right, so we had agua, we had water in Spanish, and now we have water in French as well, which is O, E-A-U. Young's partner in accounting. Well, I've, I've heard of the firm Ernst & Young. They're an accounting firm, so that, that is surely the answer. And occasions to pamper oneself me days, maybe sort of me time, but uh, phrased as days. Let's look at the crosses there to appear to be something is just seem to be that thing. And a feature of an Uber ride or an Uber eats order could be fair. Oh, that's clever. So you could pay, you know, essentially cab fare to an Uber driver, or you could order fare in the sense of meaning food sustenance via Uber eats. Um, so delivery, there we go. All right. If you Deprive something of strength, you sap it. So deprives of strength, saps. And Vietnamese noodle dish is pho. Um, uh, let's see. Let's just go. Let's just go back to the crosses here. Hop to it. Stat maybe or ASAP. Mm, let's try stat. See if it works. Goal. No, it's not. It's ASAP. As soon as possible. Uh, because your goal is your aim. Ones with season tickets to football, baseball, and basketball games, perhaps. Super fans, I'm guessing? No, it doesn't quite fit. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure what that is. Let's look, keep going. Eagle's abode. An eagle could live in an airy, which is sort of a um, high up nest. You know, they're often kind of pictured on cliff faces and things like that. Comedian Richard, who wrote, what I'm saying might be profane, but it's also profound. Uh, probably Richard Pryor, of whom I think you could, you could, you could make that claim about his, his work, both profane and profound, like a yellow banana vis-a-vis -vis a green one. So yellow, yeah, banana that's more yellow would be riper than one that's greener. Prestigious Atlanta University. Uh, Emory is a university that I assume is in Atlanta. Oh, 
sports fan. Oh, sports fans. Right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Those are the people with season tickets to all these different sports. They are sports fans. Um, I don't know why that more obvious formulation didn't pop into my head. I guess I just, after I thought of super fans, it was hard to dislodge my brain. Okay. Outcomes are results and Boba Fett's occupation in the Star Wars films. He was, of course, a bounty hunter who was introduced in The Empire Strikes Back. So, all right, what do we have here? We have run around bounty hunter. So we have this own sound. We have a U-N and an O-U-N. Maybe it's just that it's U-N doubled because we have U-N and run around twice and U-N and bounty hunter twice. I bet that's what it is. I bet it is that. The O might, might be incidental there. But we'll keep going and see. Secret agent, a spy. One person performances could be solos, musically, or in, a, I guess, any other context. Alcoves could be nooks. You could have a little breakfast nook or an alcove in a kitchen, for instance. And salad bar grabbers could be tongs. All oh, right. Okay. This isn't, once again, incorrect. This is not sports fans. It's sports nuts, which I suppose is more accurate in the sense that a nut is someone who's you know incredibly enthusiastic about something. And if they have season tickets to all of these games, they might be a bit of a sports nut. All right. So salad bar grabbers are tongs. And annoying insect could be a gnat, buzzes around and bothers you. Big name in vodka, um, Sky Vodka, which is spelled with two Y's in that manner, the brand. And then a pig spot could be a sty, a pig sty. Don't move as a dog command, stay, don't move. And then seriously hammered, drunk as a skunk, which, yes, again, uh, I don't know, drunk or, no, drunk, surely it's drunk as the skunk? I mean, it's obviously something like this because we've got the doubled UN again. And indeed, there isn't an O in this one. But I can't, I'm not, I'm missing something about what this is. Drunk. Let's look at the crosses. Okay, so upon further reflection, three stooges snicker sound. Oh, is it sort of nyak, nyak, nyak? That's kind of a old timey exaggerated laugh sound. So I think that's what that is, or snicker as it says kind of surreptitious laugh. And then if you're openly gay, you're out. Um, so this must be the drunk bit. Drunk, oops, as a skunk. So, oh, as, oh, I see. You're seriously hammered. You're as drunk as a skunk. Okay, you could say it either way, but, but I see. That's fine. That's reasonable enough. Key above caps lock is the tab key. I didn't even have to look at my keyboard to remember that one, which I sometimes do. Star Trek Lieutenant, played by George Takei, is um, Sulu is the character. That's, that's what I was looking for. Lieutenant Sulu. I guess I didn't remember he was lieutenant, but there we have it. Your keister could be your bum, your rear end. And a prayer ending could be uh, amen or amen. A meadow is a lee where animals might graze or roam. Um, doesn't need to be, but as an example. Rights organization could be the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union. And uh, we've gotten ahead of ourselves a bit, so let's jump back up to the to these acrosses. Chicken's counterpart in a causality dilemma. Uh, the chicken or the egg, if you're wondering, well, which you know, which came first? What is the where does the causal chain begin? So the chicken's counterpart would be the egg. And flight board figures are uh, ETA, ETA's estimated times of arrival might be listed on a big board at an airport, for instance. Oh, my stars. Gasp, I suppose. Is that what it is? Palindromic tugboat sound. No, it's not. I was thinking that doesn't make sense because gasp isn't the thing you say, it's the sound you make. And so if that were true, we'd probably accept, expect brackets in the clue to indicate a nonverbal sound. So so anyway, so palindromic tugboat sound would be toot. The, it's palindromic, meaning this word is spelled uh, identically in either direction. And then a tugboat toots. But here we have gosh is all my stars. There we have it. Deteriorate as sledders do go downhill. So a sled, a sled or a person on a sled literally goes downhill. But of course, metaphorically, we use that to describe something as deteriorating. Penny loafers, e.g. those are shoes, slip on shoes. And a tire pattern could be the tread in the tire. I think this was in the crossword the other day. Hurrah could be Wahoo, maybe? Let's see if that works. Like some bike locks and magnets are... Uh, I'm not seeing this one immediately. Like some bike locks and... Oh, U-shaped, right. There we go. 
Okay, yes, often you get those big U locks for bikes and magnets can often be U shaped as well. Um, okay, so here we have uh, Oye Como Va, 1971 Santana hit. Pretty sure that's right, but let's check the crosses on this just to be sure. Um, Politico Buttigieg, Pete Buttigieg is a US politician. Um, and more than 90 degrees would be an obtuse angle. So 90 degrees being a right angle and uh, fewer than 90 degrees being um, uh, acute. But anyway, this is obtuse, a wide angle. Major monthly expenses. Uh, rents would be most people's largest monthly expense. And here we have weekend occasion for avocado toast and mimosas. Those are uh, very commonly associated with a Sunday brunch. So there's that. And so we can finally look at our revealer now that we've filled out every clue, every theme clue, which says disconnects or what's found in the answers to the four starred clues. Un couples. There we go. <laughs> because we have couples of the letters U and N. There we go. And uh, indeed, they are, they are not touching one another. They are all uncoupled. They are separated. All right. A police officer is a cop. Uh, admit with up to is own up to, own up to something. One of three fire signs with Aries and Sagittarius. Um, I don't know. I don't know the fire signs. I don't know what that is referring to. It might be Leo. I mean, that's another, that's a, th that's a um, zodiac symbol that fits in three letters. Let's just try it and see. Subway en entrance fixture style, right? Could be a sort of turnstile or an electronic uh, kind of style that opens and closes to let you into the subway. Um, when I said electronic, I guess what I meant was sort of electrically side, you know, opening to the side rather than pushed through as a turnstile. I don't know why I said electronically to mean that. Anyway, like wingtips and penny loafers, um, they are sold because they're shoes. Wingtips and penny loafers are, oh, and, right, we had penny loafers in here somewhere else. Um, and, and the answer was shoes. Uh, yeah, here it is. All right, and it's, right, it's directly above. Okay, so remains of a fire could be ash from the fire. And if you're smart, Alecky, you might be a bit sassy. You might be giving some lip to somebody. And if we agree, we could say, oh, we, oh, we agree, us too. We feel the same way. Motto for a devil may care type could be YOLO, which uh, is an acronym for you only live once. And that's become popular in recent years, although I haven't heard it as much actually in the last couple of years. Alternatives to Ubers. All right, so we had, once again, we had Uber referenced up here and now it's referenced down here. Nothing to do with the theme, just uh, a non-thematic couple, coupling of clues. So alternatives to Ubers are Lyfts, which is another ride hailing app. And then on a sugar rush, say, is hyped or hyper? Hyper, probably. Um, to deserve something is to earn it. And what a bird's wings do uh, is flap, of course. Time in office could be a term, a political term of office. And finally, figures for tax filers are SSN social security numbers, which I would say at this point are the is the official identif uh, unique identification number of the New York Times crossword, the social security number. And then finally, that completes TAC readings for short. Uh, that's for tachyometer, which um, measures the which uh, reflects revolutions per minute, and they're often seen in um, internal combustion engine vehicles. And there we go. That was the crossword. So we had a nice, as we expect, a nice, fairly gentle theme with our UN couples or our un uncouples, our pairs of the, the un, the UN letters scattered throughout answers in the grid. And as with many Monday crosswords, you don't really need to understand the theme in order to solve it as, as I did today. I just sort of went through it and I basically had an idea of what it was, but it didn't really matter. You, you, these could all be solved straightforwardly with their clues, as can even the revealer, um, simply by answering the definition disconnects, and then you get uncouples. Anyway, we had our runaround, our bounty hunter, as drunk as a skunk, and Sunday brunch, each of which has uh, these uncoupled present. And there we have it. That was the Monday puzzle. I, I um, enjoyed that one. I thought it was, it was exactly what we want out of a Monday puzzle. Fairly approachable, gentle, a simple theme, uh, just to kick off the starting week. So there we have it. That's that. And that is the end of today's puzzle. I don't have time for 
uh, clues from yesterday's puzzle. I may not tomorrow. And in fact, I may not for a few weeks. Um, uh, I, the, the crossword should be going up as normal tomorrow, but for the next few weeks after that, um, I think most days that there will be the daily crossword, but I might not have time, uh, every day. So on the days when I don't, um, I will do my best to have some other crossword solve up for you. I'm, I'm trying to find some few things to solve in advance right now for that purpose. And uh, one of them will be the next and final puzzle in the Never Before series, which you um, may have seen on past days on which I've been traveling on this channel and was unable to post the standard daily solve. So um, that was a series, a 2015 series in which the New York Times challenged constructors to come up with things that they'd never seen before in the New York Times crossword. And they had a whole six day run of those. So the, the last one of those will be up at some point on this channel in the not too distant future because I solved it yesterday. And it was very interesting. <laughs> And I won't spoil how. Anyway, that's that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow for the Daily Solve. So do join me for that on Tuesday. But until then, please do take care. Mm -hmm.